Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, make the homebrew launcher launch automatically. And this is basically how you control all of your uh, uh, how you launch uh, the main exploit without using the actual gamepad. So I'm only going to use this as a, a setup thing, and I'm going to show you how it all works after that. So, for that to work, you will need to configure everything, like hack your console, configure everything, and then when you're done, when you install all the games, just do what I do to automatically launch the uh, homebrew for the web uh, exploit, and it works without Windows Pad. You can just use the remotes, and it will work just fine. I'm doing this because uh, I need to play uh, uh, Just Dance, so I'm not gonna need my pad, and I'm, this is what I'm doing on my second console. I own two consoles and one pad, and I t intend to keep this one. Okay, so first of all, let's start with <laughs> setting it up. So I'm just going to show how it works, how the end result should be. Imagine that you're controlling this with your uh, Wiimote. And s since you're launching web browser, you're not going to see the screen, but you, all you have to do is just wait. Yeah, give it some time. I didn't press anything, I didn't touch anything, as you can see. And from there, you should be able to control with your remote. So this is basically skipping the whole need of this pad. So, so just to show you, this is using the, I think the latest firmware, which is 5.5.5. It's very late firmware. It's uh, one of the more recent ones. So you don't need the settings. Don't worry, because as you know, Wiimote doesn't work there. You don't need this. It's fine. So, this is how we set it up. First, go to the browser. As you're in the browser, this is the link you want to have. Uh, just bookmark it so you don't need to redo it again. Um, this is my own made link that basically copies the whole exploit and it launches it kind of delayed. Um, I will try to do even more compatibility with the more selections. So yeah, this is what I use. I'm gonna keep it in the description and it's super easy to use. So, okay, so once you have that in, this is what you have to do. Like uh, place it in bookmarks. You can do it by, let's say you go to website And then you just hit it here to add to the bookmarks. And here, add amiibo. So once you do that, like I have it in the start page. Um, so you press this and right uh, after that, press the home button, like I do with my finger here. And you press this and immediately we press that. Now press on the network again and be sure to press this immediately again let's do this one more time like this as you can see it's loading already I did it one more time so now what you have to do is just turn off the console turn it back on and now all you need to do is just always press this browser icon and it will launch the uh, homebrew launcher automatically every single time here we go and if it fails to 
keep this as your main uh, uh, URL as your main uh, address just repeat the steps I said about uh, pressing the internet button and the web browser icon and this button right here home button so that is it okay so from there you can control with Wiimote and just load it up and that's basically it now we can play all your backups and other games like uh, V V backups and uh, GameCube backups, but just I use this only for V backups because it makes sense, you know. We have we know how to control. Maybe some games are also compatible with uh, controller, like uh, I don't know. And yeah, so it's time for a little backstory. Uh, why is this happening? So. I basically need to launch uh, this exploit on this particular uh, console I have upstairs. It's connected to the one upstairs and I'm gonna give it to my friend and he's gonna use it for chest hands. And so just so I can have the pad, uh, I'm doing this simply for um, the convenience and not having to get this expense to buy this lever pad which is actually very expensive so you can save a lot of money you can uh, look for not fully kitted Wii U consoles just make sure you can at least lend from someone pad for some what of time and make sure to get the games you like on the Wii in that meantime because after that you can't do much as it's hard to control you can't use any um, well you can some install I guess some apps but it's it's much harder so just set everything up and like I did and I'm just gonna bring it to him so because it, it, it looks like a, a long long time from here so that is why I have to automate all this and even more uh, what I had to do is to uh, identify what is his Wi-Fi name and what is the uh, what is the actual password so I needed to know this and to set up the internet from early on so keep this in mind if you want to do the same thing like I did and basically yeah that's it you can now fully use this thing even with the remote, so it shouldn't be any problem. If you have any problems, just tell me. I'll try to figure out. I'll try to get more exploits. I'll try to do more links that are even more direct, like uh, do the automated processes, because the usual the the original exploit it's not working. No links work with it. Only my link work. I don't know why is this happening, but it's some kind of delayed thing that needs to be done so it's happening and I hope this really helps because I found it very useful for me so that's it so thank you for your, all your time I hope this helps you out see ya